guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video is going to be a very exciting video in which I will be sharing with you guys some of my Ramadan obsessions, stuff that I've been really loving doing during this holy month. Um, some really exciting apps, some really exciting stuff that I've been doing and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. There's some really good examples, especially for the people who are on the time of the month and still want to do like dhikr ibadah and read Quran and stuff like that. I've got some really exciting stuff. So stay tuned. Let's sit and talk about some of my Ramadan obsessions. So one of my first obsessions slash stuff that I love doing in Ramadan is reading the Quran and my first obsession is my rainbow Quran I absolutely love this Quran it just gets you really excited about reading the Quran obviously you are already excited you are really happy to read the Quran but it just makes it so much more easier so much more colorful and it's just a lot more colorful and vibrant and it just makes you wanna read read it's absolutely amazing and it tells you how to pronounce certain letters and alphabets and stuff and it tells you how to pronounce it with the ayn and it's just such a beautiful quran i absolutely love reading the quran it just gets me so excited to hold my rainbow quran and start reading it and Recently, I've been uh, going through my phone and I'm trying to download more Islamic apps, especially that Ramadan is here. Basically, I couldn't wait to share with you guys this app that I downloaded recently because I was on the time of month and I wanted to still read Quran and do the Quran and stuff like that. And as we know, touching the Quran directly is not allowed when you're on the time of month. So basically, I download this app that has helped me so much. Hey guys, so this is Focused Muslim. This is the app that I've been using a ton. I'm going to be showing you guys the each feature. The first feature I'm going to use is the prayer app. And this is so good for keeping a track for your prayers. They have all the prayers from like Fajr to sunrise to everything. So this feature is beneficial because you can make the volume go live in a sense where the adhan can actually go live wherever you are. You could be like doing your work, you could be doing something and the when it's time for like say Fajr or Dhuhr or whatever prayer, it will literally go live. So it will the adhan will go off, which is so good, honestly. And the next feature I'm going to use is called Qubla and this is where I can place my phone anywhere and it'll tell me the direction of the Qubla so I can pray anywhere like I can take my phone anywhere with me and it'll just tell me where the Qubla direction is so I can pray which is I mean come on guys so good. And the next feature I'm going to go on is the Quran and this is what I've been using to read my Quran in the time of month, you guys have been asking about it, but this is what I've been using. It's got all your surahs inside, so it's like written, or you can actually play it to go live, so you can read it out. It can be read out really loud, so in case you wanted to follow up with the sheikh, you can actually play it loud, like so. You can also even adjust the fonts to make it larger or smaller, just depends what you want to go for. But I think that's actually such an interesting feature. They also have like all the surahs, literally every surah from the Quran, they've got it there, which I think is really like such a good thing to have on a phone app. And the next feature I'm going to use is Lesson. And Lesson is basically where they tell you and they teach you different stuff. Like every day is different. So there is situations, there is like topics they talk about. And they've got like inspirational quotes. And I swear by this quote, honestly, Allah does not burden a soul beyond it can bear. And I literally, oh my God, I literally swear by that quote. Okay, so moving on to the next feature, we're going to move on to du'as. And they have a du'a for every like occasion. Like when you wake up, when you go to sleep, what do you have to say? It's like so good because it's so good to teach you like little kids as well and the younger generation. Like it's so important to use these, especially when you go to the loo, when you come out of the loo. They've got like everything, like literally every du'a for every occasion. SubhanAllah, like it's so good. The next feature is 99 names of Allah. So it tells you the 99 names of Allah in English and in Arabic and the meaning of it too. 
which subhanallah a lot of apps actually don't have and this has like everything inside so the next feature is Docker and that's the one I've been using so much during my little holiday and it just tells you like different Dockers, how many times you're supposed to say it and there's different ones for different reasons and stuff like that. So you can just go through them and read some Docker when you're sitting down and going through your phone. I feel like nowadays in this generation we get distracted with our phone, we just don't do anything good on it except going on social media. Honestly, having an app like this would help you so much in your day-to-day -day life. There's so many different features for different things in during your day-to-do. The next feature is pray together. I think it's so important for us Muslims to pray for one another, not only ourselves. And this app will basically feature you to pray for others and think about others, not just ourselves. And this app has helped me so much because it can make me focus on my deen. I know we can all get distracted nowadays in this day and age, but having this app just on my phone, so easy, so convenient, has helped me so much. I could just go in and see when the prayer time is and I could go pray on time. If I want to read some Quran, I'll just open and read Quran, do some dhikr. It's got du'as for everything. It's got du'as for when you break your fast. It's got du'as when you go to the toilet, when you come out the toilet, when you enter your house, when you leave the house. Also, I wanted to mention that this app is absolutely amazing for people who are really busy and on the go, especially like me. I'm a really on the go person. I'm always out and about. So having this on my phone is so easy especially during this month of Ramadan where we're trying to read the whole Quran having it on your phone where you can guide yourself to where you go up to especially if you sit in somewhere in a cafe or you're sitting waiting for someone just bring out your phone and you can start reading the Quran from the phone directly so easy another obsession that I love doing in Ramadan for me personally is wearing our bias Abayas just make me feel so good, honestly. It's so loose, it's so casual, it's so simple and it's just, it feels good because you don't need to worry about how you look or how you're dressed up. Wearing an abaya is just the most relaxing thing ever, makes you feel good. You can get up and pray without worrying, is it too long, is it too tight, is it too fitted? It's nice and loose and it goes well with so many different outfits. I mean, you could be wearing your PJs under here and no one would know. So I love this abaya that I got recently. Um, if you guys wanna know where I got it from, I'll leave the description box below. But this month of Ramadan, all I have been doing is wearing abayas and honestly, I love it. I love it. I I just love it. So yeah guys, this is the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed some of the key facts that I do on a regular basis, especially during the Ramadan month of Ramadan because I want to increase my deen and I want to take this over not to only Ramadan, to the whole year round to focus on my deen, to focus on my religion, which is the most important thing to me in this dunya and the hereafter. So I thought I would share it with you guys today and I hope this is beneficial for you guys. Everything will be linked in the description box below. So if you guys wanted to download this app, I will leave the link in the description box below. Like I will leave everything else because I feel like it's so important to share with you guys too. So the word can be spread and spread over to your friends and family. And yeah, let's spread all the good work. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to smash that thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.